What better time to take apart the Samsung Galaxy S9 Plus than right after we took apart the Galaxy S9? Besides the dual aperture back camera, there isn't much beyond a larger screen size that separates this from its littler sibling. We brought in our friend Ryan from Cellmedic Phone Repair to perform this teardown. Let's get to it. The tools you'll need for an S9 repair are a thin metal pry tool, tweezers, plastic spudger, a double zero Phillips head screwdriver, SIM card removal tool, a razor blade, plain cards or guitar picks, some isopropyl alcohol, and heat gun or heating pad. We'll enter through the back glass first by applying a whole lot of heat. This softens the adhesive enough to get our blade between the glass and midframe at the bottom of the phone. Insert plain cards or guitar picks to keep the parts separate. Alternate between heat and slicing, and don't try to raise the glass too early. This will take a while. Start raising the glass from the bottom, but not all the way. The fingerprint sensor is still attached, and we don't want to rip it. Unclip it with tweezers or your spudger before fully removing the glass. The back camera and sensor lens comes off the back glass with some heat and prying. If you want to continue from there, do the same to separate the fingerprint scanner from the lens cover. There are 15 Phillips head screws holding down the charging coil and loudspeaker assembly. Take these out, along with the extra adhesive not seen on the S9, then unclasp the charging coil and loudspeaker and pull them out. Both of them have little openings on the edge to help pop them out. With the logic board in full view, the first thing we do is unclip the battery connector. Then we unclip everything else, the volume connector, the iris scanner and the front facing camera, which can be detached now and removed or otherwise come out with a board. And then down the left side, the screen display connector, the signal connector, and the coaxial cables. Here we pull out the camera and the iris scanner. There's one more screw on the right above the battery that needs to come out. The logic board pulls up from the top and is attached by a push connector to the charging port assembly at the bottom. Separate them with a spudger and pull out the logic board. Bonus tip that shouldn't be a bonus here, those two lenses are for the dual aperture back camera, which are combined on a single flex cable attached by a push connector to the back of the logic board. We didn't remove it here, but if you need to replace it, you can do so after removing the logic board. We take out the battery next, starting with a little heat. It's not entirely necessary to remove the logic board if you're replacing the battery, but it's nice to have a neat workspace. A few drops of isopropyl alcohol help weaken the adhesive too, and paired with the heat, the battery pries up super easily. Start removing the charging port assembly by taking out the headphone jack. It has one screw and a push connector keeping it in. Persuade it to leave with your screwdriver or tweezers and pluck it out. Three more screws need to come out, one to the left and two more framing the USB-C port. Then comes the delicate process of scooping out the whole ribbon cable with the wires attached. Next, go to the top where the cylindrical vibrate motor pops right out and the proximity sensor awaits our tweezers. Try not to ruin the conductive copper tape overlaying the proximity sensor. And hey, if you want to take out the top earpiece speaker, which we didn't do here, it comes out with some prying, just like the vibrate motor does. Samsung screens are notorious for how well adhered they are to their frame assemblies. You can remove the screen assembly the same way you remove the back glass, with lots of heat and prying, but it takes a while, and you'll risk destroying your screen. If you're replacing it, that doesn't make much of a difference, but if you want to save yourself the pain, there are replacement full-frame screen assemblies for sale. For the sake of brevity, we're going to start the reassembly here with the gutted full frame assembly. Start putting everything together in reverse order. Lay the proximity sensor down with its copper tape, replace the vibrate motor, and the earpiece speaker if you took that out too. Lay down the charging port flex cable and wedge that side ribbon and coaxial cables back into place. Let the headphone jack move back in, connect it, and screw it down. Reconnect the logic board to the charging port flex cable and lay it down flat so it doesn't cover any other connectors and drive in that one screw on the right. Connect the volume flex cable, screen display cable, signal cables, and antennas. You should feel each one of these snap into place. Replace and reconnect the front camera and the iris scanner next and then lay down and reconnect the battery. Snap the loudspeaker down next, then do the same thing with the charging coil on top of that and drive in the 15 screws you safely stowed away earlier.
Before we replace the back glass, let's put the lens back on. You can see the fingerprint sensor is still attached. When doing this, you'll want to use some replacement adhesive to keep these firmly together. We lay down the back glass next, but before we close it up, we reconnect the fingerprint scanner, which isn't the easiest thing. You'll need to feel when it connects before sealing up the phone. When it is finally connected, we firmly press the phone together. It's good to use replacement adhesive around the edges when you're doing a back glass repair. And a last pass with a heat gun plus some more pressing will help set the adhesive. The S9 Plus isn't so different from the S9 or the other galaxies at all really. If your hand suddenly grew 7% between working on an S9 and S9 Plus, you might not even notice the difference. But we did find more adhesive holding down the back glass, which made the process a tad more nerve-wracking than normal. Keep that in mind, along with that squirrely fingerprint sensor cable, and you'll do fine opening this phone. We hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please let us know in the comments and subscribe to our channel. You can find replacement parts for the S9 Plus and other phones and tablets on our website at groupvertical.com. Check the video description for links on commonly repaired parts. Thanks for watching.